if they do a a, a uh, pregame celebration, highlights, whatever the case is, I wouldn't have a problem with it at all. He was there for ten years, took him to, or or went to two Super Bowls with Pete Carroll, won one, lost one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you give him you give him what he's supposed to deserve and keep it moving. Look, man, Russell Wilson is a bona fide professional. Like he is a role model for a lot of kids who want to play this game. And what he did in that community, how he handled himself in that organization, I think deserves to be praised. I yeah, agree. of course you cheer for Russell Wilson. Come on. So he's, so by the way, the problem is then he's going to sm- then he's going to absolutely smoke, smoke his former team, and then they're not going to be cheering. By the <laughs> then they're going to be looking at Geno Smith but, but, and Drew Lock. Let me ask like, you this though, Jeff. Jeff, you said that he's going to smoke them. So let me ask you this question: Who do you think knows more about one another? Pete Carroll knows more about Russell, or Russell knows more about Pete. Ooh. No, I think you're probably right about that, Key. Like, I, I think that Pete probably does know a lot about him. I just think that the Denver team altogether is just so much more powerful than Seattle. I'm not saying it's all going to be on Russell, but I still go back to Aaron Rodgers. There's a reason why he was eyeing Denver as the team to join, just like Tom Brady eyed the Bucks. It was a talented roster. It needed just one more thing. I, I just think that De- Denver Broncos, um, not to try to segue away from your point, I just think the Denver Broncos are going to be really, really good this year. Well, you did just segue away from it. <laughs> that was a professional transition. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.